every one of us had at least one or two stories that came directly from our lives, sure. Um, we, uh, as far as my life, one of the stories that I r recall the most was, and this has happened to a lot of people, have you ever been walking down the street or like walking past something and you hear a song that's coming, it could be coming from a car radio, the apartment, and it's a song that you like. You hadn't heard this song in 20 years, but you liked it, you heard like two or three lyrics and then either the car would drive off or the window would shut before you hear the title. And now this thing is in your, I mean this thing is planted in your head like a railroad spike. And you're just saying, what is the name of that song? I love that song. And you're literally walking up to people going, what, 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 what's this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they're staring at you. And they're, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and you're just trying anything you can do to find out. We did an episode, because that's what happened to me. Um, there's a song that I heard that I hadn't heard in a long time, and we basically did that to Al, and me being as obsessive as I am about it, because once something like that happens to me, I will leave no, I will leave this entire city in ruins to find this. I will leave this town a flaming, <laughs> just a flaming, stinking mess before, before I give up finding what I'm looking for. You know, no amount of money, no human life, I don't care. I am going to find out, I'm going to find the title of this song, I don't care how many people die. You know, and that's, that's what we did with Al. You know, and that was a song, that was a, an episode, for instance, um, that came directly from my life. These episodes, my favorite, are episodes that can happen to just about anybody you know, that, that trigger something and just go, oh yeah, that, that, that happens. Those are, as wild as we got on Married With Children, one of my favorite episodes always started out grounded in something real. Another example of that, one of the, epi one of the shows, the episodes that, or infamous episodes that we're most known for was the Santa episode. Do you remember the Santa, where, um, Santa Claus was going to make an appearance at the local mall, the mall that Al worked in. And the way he was going to make his appearance was he was going to jump out of an airplane with, uh, you know, a sack of goodies, you know, for the kids that had gathered there. Well, it didn't quite happen because the chute didn't open and he landed in Al's yard and died in the tree. This literally happened to one of the writers um, on the show when he was a kid. You know, he lived, he lived in Illinois and the Santa was going to make an appearance at the mall by jumping out of a plane and actually, and actually got killed when he landed um, on top of the mall. His chute didn't open, thereby apparently scarring, you know, about four or five hundred children for life. I know, you know, what it did to this writer, <laughs> to this particular writer. That's where this idea came from. Um, another idea, um, actually a couple of them. Um, came from Ron's, Ron says this was his dad. I actually think this was a little bit of him. You know, uh, a lot of the episodes where Al is determined to get something fixed himself, I'm not going to call the handyman, I'm not, it's a plumbing thing, how hard can this be? Those type of episodes. And he, you know, winds up, you know, having the entire block condemned. A lot of those, you know, seem to come from, you know, from Ron. So every single, and that's why I like the writer's table where everyone gets to pitch in because those, that's the only way you're gonna really hear these stories. You know, they hear the writers go back in their lives and like pull, you know, a lot of episodes from there. And all it takes is, you know, just the seed. I mean, we've done stories, the buck getting neutered story, you know, it came from just be, you know, one sentence pitch. You just said, because you knew where the, Someone like Al, a character like Al, you know, having to have his dog neutered is, would be just a major, major issue for him. Because how is he not going to identify with this? You know, he's married, therefore, therefore he's neutered. 
you know, now the dog is, you know. So it, that's how Al would think of it. You know, so all we needed was that one sentence. Most of our better episodes, you know, were pulled from the lives of um, the writing staff. Now, granted, we had the writing staff. We did not have a typical writing staff, as you might imagine. Um, we hired writers that nobody else would hire. You know, if we got word that a certain writer was available and the reason this was available because he or she had been fired from every single show that they worked on because of personality <laughs> issues, <laughs> that's who we wanted. And we wound up with a, we wound up with a staff of them. 